Now here we go, we're going to give you another round of applause, CrossFit, good job, you held your own rules, you freaking put rules out there, and you're not like, oh, because you're someone we know, we're going to let you go, oh, how many followers do you have? Now there is rhyme and reason in the world, and we can all start to look to you guys for a little bit more guidance like we always have, so we can continue moving on to be the best CrossFitters we can be. Yo, the story that everybody's talking about is Annika Greer. I believe she's from Canada, and I know she's really freaking fit. I remember at Wadapalooza, she won a workout. I was there, I was watching, it was pretty awesome. And from catching up on the Savan podcast a little bit, I heard she's been working out with the crew over in Las Vegas, and there were some high hopes for her season this year, which got snuffed out. There was a technical error per her Instagram message. She notes timestamps and videos with athletes where she's in the background. She said she finished the workout on Saturday and then put her phone away for a full day, in which she only looked at their score until 20 minutes after the deadline, which just sounds a little bit weird to me. Now, I've been harping on a lot of people about a lot of things. Harping about CrossFit for not upholding the movement standards. Maybe holding the movement standards too high on certain movements. Kind of makes me sound crazy when I say it like that, but it is what it is. And then I'm harping on the athletes for doing things like making sure their camera's in the right spot so you can see the clock. Doing the repetitions that you do at elements level courses. Now, I think it should go without saying that you should just be putting your scores in at the time in which they're supposed to be in. And remember, all workout results must be submitted before the submission deadline. So if you run into technical issues, email support at CrossFitGames.com before the submission window closes. Any score received after the deadline will not be accepted. As a lot of you know at this point, I am a former regional level competitor. Back in those days, the Open actually meant something. So present day, the Open doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! to a lot of these high-level competitors. Open is not important, so... So they're just putting their scores in willy-nilly. They can see their score on the leaderboard, and that's all well and good. Andrew puts his score in, Andrew sees where he's at in the world, and he moves on to this freaking life. Well, when you move on to the quarterfinals, there's a blind leaderboard. You don't have that luxury anymore. You can't just see where you're at the second you put your score in. What it means, and what CrossFit is doing with the quarterfinals, is you had to put your scores in at noon on Friday, noon on Saturday, and noon on Sunday. And then a couple hours later, the leaderboard would populate, you'd be able to see where you stood with the workouts that you put in. They put the first two workouts in, the second two workouts in, and then the final workout in on the third day, that being Sunday. Finally, the last submission window will run from Saturday at 12 noon to Sunday at 12 noon, and that will be for the final workout, workout number five. So what happened with Annika Greer was she had her first two workouts in, she saw where she was at. She had her second two workouts in, she saw where she was at. And then she thought that she had her fifth workout in, went to go see where she was at, and then realized that she didn't have her score in. Now, this is actually something that I knew about right away. I caught wind of it down the freaking pipeline, and I've been sitting on this one to make a video until it got finalized and word got out that it actually happened because this story could have gone one of two ways. Way one, they let her in. They're like, oh, it's okay, you know, we're going to disregard everything that we've said about this and we're going to let Annika Greer in, which wouldn't have surprised me. And then this video would have gone a completely different route. But what ended up happening is they upheld their own rules. Any score received after the deadline will not be accepted which is exactly what they should be doing with all of it. So in the case of Annika Greer, when you don't have your score in on time and then it doesn't populate, you're just shit out of luck. And if you've ever been in my position before where you're at the helm of a bunch of people who are trying to put their scores in all at once, there's always going to be people who don't get their scores in on time. What do you think CrossFit would do if they opened up the freaking Pandora's box that is, oh, we're going to let Annika Greer score in because everyone's coming after us and all these people are saying, let her compete, let her compete. It just becomes a nightmare for the company. Company, a nightmare for the company that is already putting itself through every other nightmare in the world and what they're doing is at least they're doing what they said they should have in the first place and what my opinion is on this is that if Annika Greer has all of this evidence maybe she should shoot that on the internet like prove her case with that stuff on her Instagram page of 25,000 followers like you can really do something in that light like say hey here's this here's that here's a timestamp here's a screenshot of the workout that's what I would do if I were in her position and because she isn't doing that I don't know why she wouldn't do that it gives me reason to believe that maybe there isn't as much evidence as there may be being said is there not calling her a liar just saying that if i had the evidence my season was screwed and crossfit was screwed over all these other people apparently i would just put it on the internet hey guys here's the stuff clearly i'm screwed right and you remove the fact that she is a younger athlete i believe she's 19 years old and you remove the fact that she's really nice. And you remove the fact that you're excited to see her season coming up. And what you're left with is you're just left with somebody who forgot to put their score in on time. And what would happen with just about anybody in the world is that they would not retroactively put your score in just because people like you. Which is exactly how it should be. And we should give CrossFit a freaking round of applause for doing the right thing.
thing for once. This is step one in the right direction, CrossFit. Keep on going. Nice job. I'm gonna need you to go look at a bunch of handstand push-ups now and do the same thing to those because those hips aren't extended on any of anyone's handstand push-ups from what I've seen. I'm gonna need you to go check out your own footage on your YouTube page of Griffin Raleigh's CrossFit total and go ahead and disqualify his score or at least take the reps of which his butt stayed on the bench, which are still gonna be heavy enough for him to qualify. So we're not trying to take him off the leader, but what we are trying to do, do the right thing all the time. What I have here, I have a bunch of clips from Adrian Bosman. I got a bunch of clips from Adrian Bosman. He put this out before the quarterfinals and you expect every elite athlete to watch this thing. It's your livelihood for some of you guys. It's all you work towards for most of you guys. So you think that you would watch this little five minute clip that has 30,000 views on the CrossFit page. We're gonna start off with one of them. Congratulations on successfully qualifying for the online quarterfinals. Although each division will compete on different dates, performing different workouts, the general competition information in this video applies to the individual, team, and age group competitions. Detailed workout standards will be released at this time, so make sure to review them thoroughly before beginning your competition. So yes, we have to review our workouts thoroughly along with our judges so that your guys' job is easier, so there aren't people like me picking things apart piece by piece. If everyone would have done their job, the athlete's job, then it makes your job easier. And yes, while this is the case, you guys still need to be fine toothpicking through everyone's videos so that you know that people like Oscar Hoy has a score that is invalid. Find it before people like me do. I'm one dude. I look at the top score. I see that it's not working. I got a little horde of people on the internet sending me videos. They'll find stuff and they'll send it to me and then I'll see it before you guys do. And that's not a good look for you guys, CrossFit. You're going to want to go ahead and check everybody's walking lunges to make sure that people outside of the cut line aren't getting screwed by people who did half the reps. So if they have a score in the 200s and there's people in the teens who have no business being in the teens on that work out, you're going to have to go ahead and take care of that. So yeah, we'll do our part the best we can, but you guys need to do an even better part because it's your job to do the good part, right? During the competition, you'll be given three 24-hour windows to submit your scores. Finally, the last submission window will run from Saturday at 12 noon to Sunday at 12 noon, and that will be for the final workout, workout number five. Athletes do not have to complete the workouts in any particular order as long as you submit the specifically required workouts before each deadline. So now this is another good place to stop because from what I heard on the Savan show, Annika had this stuff done before Sunday. So she could have put her score in Sunday. There is no required order for you to be doing these workouts. There never has been, and I don't know if there ever will be. I don't know if there's any way they can make you do them in a certain order in this fashion. There is, however, a loophole that was brought up on the Savan show. And the loophole is if you are to take a screenshot saying that your score was valid, on the website, and you can prove to CrossFit that it says, hey, valid at this with a certain timestamp, then they can retroactively put your score in because it could have been a back-end issue on their part. And this is not something that they did. So if you're watching this and you want to forever take something good away from the Andrew Hiller YouTube channel, you could take away the fact that when you put your score in, it's not going to hurt for you to take a screenshot. It's going to take a point zero 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 one megabytes worth of freaking storage on your phone, and it might just keep you from not competing in the next stage of the competition. So I recommend that you now screenshot the freaking score the second you see the green light on the validation page just for the future for you for future reference on every workout ever go ahead and do it it's also highly recommended that when you shoot your video briefly film a standardized time website to confirm the date and time that your workout took place. I've never done that, but it reminds me of those old bodybuilding competition things where they would show up the newspaper and it's like, hey, I weighed this much at this point in time, and this is how you know that I didn't do it at some other point in time. So this just is another route that she could have taken to go ahead and say, hey, I did my workout at the right time, let me in. Now remember, all workout results must be submitted before the submission deadline. So if you run into technical issues, email support at crossfitgames.com before the submission window closes. Any score received after the deadline will not be accepted. Now here we go, we're gonna give you another round of applause, CrossFit, good job, you held your own rules, you freaking put rules out there, and you're not like, oh, because you're someone we know, we're gonna let you go, oh, how many followers do you have? Now there is rhyme and reason in the world, and we can all start to look to you guys for a little bit more guidance like we always have, so we can continue moving on to be the best CrossFitters we can be. There are specific instructions for each workout that must be followed. Make sure that the judge holds you to the movement standards that are outlined in the documents. And then you say some shit like that. Penalties may be given after video review of your workout if the movement standards are not followed. And yes, our team can decide whatever type of penalty we, we want to give, whenever we want to give, on whatever workout we want to give, to whichever athlete we want, for whatever reason, to any extent or degree, time, high, low, whatever we want, whenever we want, because we're CrossFit. In addition to having a registered judge, 
it's also highly recommended that you dedicate a second person or a media rep to be responsible for taking your videos. Now here, this has always been very weird for me. So the entire media rep was a very weird concept for me last year when I was reading the quarterfinal and the semifinal stuff that I received. It's like, okay, I'm not gonna do that. I can take care of this stuff myself. But then you think about the people like Annika Greer who apparently got screwed out of a spot where maybe she could have had somebody whose job it is to do this. I mean, yeah, technically it's her job, but it could have been someone's real job to take care of this. Like Tom Brady, he's not gonna go and book autograph sessions and say, hey, I'm gonna be on the plane at this time. He's got somebody who does that for him. That could have been that person here for Annika Greer. This person should be ready to make sure all your video submission guidelines are followed and that the camera is positioned specifically so that your performance can be easily viewed. Then the clock starts and what you realize is that you can't see the timer. Remember, any penalties assessed will be done after the close of the competition window and you won't have another opportunity to resubmit your score. Good luck to everybody competing out there. We'll see you on the leaderboard and we'll see some of you at the semifinals. So now again, the goal of this entire video is to say, hey CrossFit, you did a good job this time. And although it is at the expense of Annika Greer, who seems like a really good person. She's young, she's got plenty of years to you know, learn from her mistakes and get better. And that's why we are always doing what we're doing here. We're presenting you guys with an opportunity to get better. So and there are other athletes brought up in this. It's never about the athletes. It's for the people who could potentially watch this to learn from their mistakes, those athletes included, and then to get better from those mistakes. Don't fight me on this stuff because this stuff is rather cut and dry. If your hips come off the bench, don't say that your hamstrings came off, but your butt was still there. That's freaking ridiculous. You can't really do one, not the other. It barely makes any sense. I don't know what you're saying. If you claim to be a high level athlete, then the highest level athletes are going to practice how they play. So do all of your reps the right way all the freaking time. Or there's a lot of stuff that has to be worked on. That's why there's a lot of people watching this freaking thing. Annika Greer, you'll learn, you'll be better. If you do have all of the information and the proof and the evidence and the timestamps and the other athletes athletes with the workouts in the background, you want me to put something on the internet so that everyone can see that you're probably getting screwed over here and you want me to make a case for you, that I'll do that for you. Just throw it my way. I'll do the workout in my end. That'll be a good time. Willing to do that. That'll be cool. CrossFit, good job. If you like this sort of video where, you know, hey, I'm saying good things about CrossFit this time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and send this to a friend. I'm going to keep on doing this. Video a day keeps the doctor away. Andrew Hiller, goodbye.